Hey, Dino detectives, are you ready to crack the case of the extinct giants? Today we're going to uncover some amazing secrets about dinosaurs. How did they grow so big? Why did some have feathers instead of scales? And what really happened to them? Get ready, we're going on an adventure through time. How did some dinosaurs get so big, while others stayed small? Some dinosaurs were the size of a bus, like Brachiosaurus, while others were smaller, like the speedy Velociraptor. But what was the secret to their size? And what happened to them? One minute, they're stomping around, the next, poof, they're gone. Let's find out. Did you know that paleontologists can tell a lot about a dinosaur just by studying its bones? They can figure out how fast it moved, what it ate, and sometimes even how it died. This is the mighty T-Rex, the king of dinosaurs. But check this out. Its arms are tiny. They're like the world's smallest biceps. So what were they for? Well, scientists think they might have used them for balance or maybe to hold on to their prey. Now look at Brachiosaurus. It had a super long neck. Why? To reach the tallest trees and eat the leaves at the very top. Talk about a high up lunch. Some dinosaurs ate plants and others ate meat. Let's check out how their teeth and bodies were built for these diets. Look at this Triceratops. It had flat teeth for grinding tough plants. And look at its three horns. They were probably for protection or to show off to other dinosaurs. Now meet the T-Rex. It had sharp pointy teeth for ripping apart meat. Its strong jaws could crush bones. Imagine how powerful its bite must have been. Herbivores like Brachiosaurus grew huge because they had to eat lots of plants to stay full. But it also meant they spent most of their days munching on leaves. Do you think a dinosaur could survive eating both plants and meat? What would that dinosaur look like? Which dinosaur would you want to have dinner with? A meat eater or a plant eater? By studying footprints, scientists can tell if dinosaurs walked in groups. Lots of tracks together means they were probably a herd. Some dinosaurs, like the Velociraptor, hunted in packs. They worked together to bring down prey like a super dino team. But others, like the T-Rex, hunted alone. They were the lone wolves of the prehistoric world. The Brachiosaurus was so big it probably didn't need a herd. Its massive size was its best defense. Would you rather be in a herd or hunt solo like a T-Rex? So, how did dinosaurs get so big? Well, their environment played a huge role. Back then, the Earth was warmer and had more oxygen, which helped them grow bigger and stronger. Plus, with fewer animals competing for food, they had plenty to eat. But as the climate changed, and a giant asteroid struck Earth, everything changed. The dinosaurs couldn't survive the harsh new conditions. That's how some dinosaurs became giants, and why others disappeared. But don't worry, we'll keep digging for more dino mysteries in future episodes. Well, detectives, we cracked the case. Dinosaurs were big, fascinating, and had some pretty wild lifestyles, but there's always more to learn about these ancient creatures. Next time on Dinosaur Detective, we'll explore what happened right before dinosaurs first appeared on Earth. Stay tuned. What's your favorite dinosaur? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures in the dinosaur world. Keep being a dino detective.